this next woman has let me touch her breast every time I've seen her for the past 12 it's a, it's a true story even though she's a lesbian she's let me touch her breast every day time I've seen her for the past 12 years and it's still I have to say very firm which is kind of impressive <laughs> please very funny Judy Gold everybody Judy <laughs> touched Colin's penis every time I see him. So. No, it's great to be here. I am so happy to be doing a show for Comedy Central. I am so sick of watching these reality shows on television. It's unbelievable. Is it unbelievable. Every Everything is a reality show. Sports is a reality show. I'm watching the Olympics. All right, they've completely turned the Olympics into a reality program. Before every competition, they always profile one of the athletes. Have you noticed every Olympic athlete has had the most miserable, tragic life? No, I'm to the swimming in Australia a couple of years ago I felt like such a loser in lane four is Svetlana Mashakova she's swimming with two broken legs she got as she was pushing her parents out of a moving train as they were escaping persecution in lane six is Alana Lalajava this is her first competition since climbing Mount Everest and falling in lane nine is Michelle Navarro she's dead she died last Friday she's floating in lane nine and she's the favorite in this category two kids, uh, yeah, right out of the vagina. Let me say one thing about the vagina, seriously. No, the fact that that vagina gets so enormous to let the baby out, it is such a miracle, and then it never goes back to its original elasticity. In fact, I'm peeing right now, ladies and gentlemen. Did you just look down to see if there was pee coming out, did you? But it's great, as uh, Colin said in my intro, because I wanted him to, uh, yeah, I am a lesbian, and I actually have a partner, Sharon, and Sharon and I uh, each had a child. Sharon had our first child, Henry, he's seven, and I adopted him, and I had Ben, and he's two, and she adopted him, and it's great, because everyone's always like, oh my god, you have two kids? Which pregnancy was harder? I'm like, oh, the first one was a breeze, I didn't feel anything, I gave it away, my tits, and but, um, but we used an anonymous sperm donor, which... I I know is very fascinating to a lot of people. So people are always trying to get information out of me by asking me the stupidest questions. So a couple of weeks ago, I was with the baby, and this woman comes up to me and goes, oh my God, he is so cute. Now, who do you think he looks like? I'm like, your husband, okay? It's really tough raising the kids. You know, Greg was talking about it. You know, they're cute, and then they get annoying. I can't stand it. Henry, the older one, he's seven now. He's sitting on the couch the other day. He's into this thing where he ignores me. I can't stand it anymore. So he's sitting on the couch. I'm like, Henry, 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 Henry. Henry. Nothing. So finally, I yell his name. Then he goes, can't you see I'm doing something? What are you, deaf? <laughs> and I said, first of all, you do not talk to me like that. And second of all, it's what are you, blind? Okay? <laughs> Idiots. It's attractive, but um, no, it's great. Henry, uh, Henry's definitely straight. I can, you can kind of tell, and I, 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 I realize he is going to totally use this whole two mom thing to get girlfriends. I swear to God, when he gets older, you know, I really understand women. I, I have two moms. Could you do me right now? <laughs> that feels great, and I really, I know what you're feeling right now. And I, but I feel sorry for him because you know what? He has two Jewish mothers, and that would really make me want to kill myself. But, Yeah, my mother, Jewish mother, very supportive of my rela relationship. I never forget when Henry was born, uh, she didn't know how to explain it to her friends. So she, this, I swear to God, this is what she used to say to people. Uh, Judith's roommate uh, had a baby, and then Judith adopted him. Yeah, Ma, we were splitting the rent, so I figured, you know, I should probably pay for half of the kids. It's so funny. We go to her house. She does not know what to do with the kids. So I swear to God, a couple of weeks ago, we go to her house and uh, we walk in. She's sitting in some room depressed. Anyway, Henry walks in. He's like, hey, grandma. Ben's running around. I'm chasing after him. And I hear Henry and my mother in the other room having a great time. I'm like, what the hell are they doing? I walk in. They're taking each other's blood pressure. Okay, how psychotic is that? No, that she thinks that's an activity to do with your grandchild. I mean, she's completely out of 
Those are the Jews. You know, I was thinking, I was really thinking about who must have the most annoying Jewish mother. And I, Joseph Lieberman, I was thinking about this, running for president and is Orthodox Jew. His mother must be so obnoxious. I can't even imagine. And first of all, he's running for, he's going to be running for president, campaigning in the fall, which is Jew season. Okay. And he's an Orthodox. No, seriously. When does this guy plan on working? I can't even imagine his answering machine message during the last campaign. He reached the office of Joseph Lieberman, our, our office hours on Monday through Thursday, 9.30 a.m. to 6.30 p.m. on Fridays. We'll open from sunrise to sunset. We'll be closed September 29th to 30th for the Jewish Festival of Rosh Hashanah, we close October 6th through the 8th for Kol Nidre and Yom Kippur, we close October 16th through the 21st for Sukkot, we close October 29th and 30th for the Simchas Torah. Joseph will be out of the office on November 3rd for my daughter's bat mitzvah. Thank you for calling and show Thank you very much. Uh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, Are they amazing? Yes. Yes. Amazing. It's true. Ah, so good. Thank you for staying out. Now I have to thank people for staying out for something that benefits me not at all. This is pathetic. Let me ask you one question. Yeah, okay. I was watching the bit and I was thinking, Judy, she really does always let me touch her breast, and she obviously respects my comedy. <laughs> How could she not in the business? And why would you go with like take spin the dice, the roulette, and not even ask me if maybe you know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Think about what that says. Right. Somebody you know that supposedly you like. Yeah. You know? Why would you not at least ask me to well, be a donor Well, we talked about it and talked about it. What? And then we talked about you it. You guys did? Yeah. And, and then what did you decide? Richard Simmons. <laughs> Thank you, darling. 